Signal Hill in St. John's. And uh, my mom and dad are looking at, there's a, a fisheries boat out there. You can't even see it on the, what, DFO? It's a Department of Fisheries. DOF or DFO? DOF. So we're gonna get ready to walk up there. Let's see, hello Jeremy. Hello Jeremy. <laughs> But yeah, we're going to go and walk up to the Cabot Tower there and um, get some pictures from the other side. Just a quick trip up here today. And uh, we just, uh, we went to Cora's when we got in for breakfast. And uh, then we just went to Michael's and Staples. And after this, we're going to go, um, I'm not sure where. I don't know. We're hoping to see a whale, but we don't think there's anything out there. Oh, that wind's nice. All right guys, it's about 10.30 or so and we just got home from St. John's so I thought we'd give a little show of what we picked up. Um, these are some of the books that we got. This book here is about uh, something to do with the Titanic so I, I grabbed that. Um, and the same author wrote How to Hang a Witch so I picked this one up as well. Um, this is the fifth book of the Rotten Ruin series so we have all the other ones so we thought we'd read this one as well. Um, this is a series, I don't know anything about this, um, Jeremy picked these up to read, but you know, I might read them as well. These are pretty much all teen fiction books, because that's what we like to read. Um, so that's the Summoner series, I guess. Um, I got another book here about witches, and um, this here is about, uh, I don't know if it's aliens, or if it's like apocalyptic, or whatever it is, but the covers of the book um, drew in my attention, so hopefully it's going to be gonna be good um this one is recommended by chapters so i don't know maybe it might be the book and jeremy's reading this series here i've read a couple of the books in the series as well but i'm trying to catch up on books that i need to read so i'll get back to these when i have everything else done and he also picked up this here i don't know anything about this book i don't know if it's a teen fiction what is this is this i don't know anything about it i just know the author it's a fantasy yeah, I, I read the author's first trilogy and it was really good. So, first trilogy here was the Night Angel trilogy. It's all about assassins and a fantasy world and stuff like that. It was really good. So, I wanted to pick that up. So, that, uh, that's the books that we picked up. Selena picked up like loads of books too, but she's got everything taken upstairs in her bedroom. Um, some of the art supplies that we picked up um, we got the Distress Ink Kit and this little stamp here Jeremy grabbed um, that can do a bunch of different. Uh, like marble, marble backgrounds I guess or some kind of effect there uh, and the distress ink and sure nope I'm getting to that now we picked up the blu-ray for ready player one because Jeremy really likes the, the movie and he picked up a new Ottawa Senators hat because that's the hockey team that he follows and then Newfoundland just got a new um, what is it a a h l e c h l Okay, that word, ECHL. This is the new Newfoundland hockey team, and it's called the Newfoundland Growlers. So we're hoping in October, or Jeremy's hoping in October, that we'll be able to go in and catch one of the games for that. So that'll be interesting. His first hockey game like that, I suppose, since he, that he's been to. First professional hockey game. Yeah. yeah. So, and then I picked up three essential oils. So I got a lemon, and I picked up lavender because I don't have any, and I really need this to help me sleep. And I picked up peppermint as well, because I like to mix the peppermint and the lemon one together. And some art supplies that I got, I got these wood panels and some brushes.
So I picked up these um, wooden panels and some extra brushes because I picked up some oil, oh my god, oil paint, which is the Artist Loft oils. Um, I don't know a whole lot about oil painting, so I didn't go and spend a lot of money. This was $20 for 24 colors, and I'm pretty sure this will um, let me know if I want to paint with oils or not. I know they're not professional um, grade, but, you know, it'll do the trick for now. And I also picked up... Um, some paint thinner and some varnish and glazing mediums and what, what have you. And I also got this um, Liquitex Basics 48 tube acrylic set. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeremy is not killing the cat. Um, I, I sold all of my acrylics to get my graphics display um, like maybe almost three years ago now. So I picked up this small set to see if I can't get back into painting with acrylics again. Um, and if I do, you know, maybe I'll get some more stuff, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. And we picked up this wooden box here because we have a whole bunch of these games right here that require us to um, roll dice. So it will be easier just to put some felt in the bottom of this and roll the dice in here and that can contain everything. So, um, and Jeremy bought two more games. So you want to show those? We have a mess because we're trying to tidy up. Uh, this game is called Dread Fleet. I don't know how to play it, um, but you have it's a bunch of fantasy-based ships, uh, and you got to move around the board, which is your ocean, your seas, and uh, yeah, you basically play against each other. I, I really don't know a whole lot about it, but it's something I've been very interested in trying out for what three years now? Maybe four. Maybe four. It was released a long time ago, and I think they stopped production of it, but um, they've. These boxes have just been floating around in hobby shops all over the place. So, pick that up. And he's got one more. Uh, this one kind of had the wow factor when I saw it because if I don't know if anybody who watches the channel, the box is so big I can't get your head in the box too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if anybody that watches the channel plays has heard of or played the video game, but the Dark Souls uh, series for video gaming, whether it be on console or PC. It's very difficult. The biggest slogan is prepare to die because you're going to die a lot when you play the game. And it's the exact same thing with the board game they just released. Uh, so there's a lot of figures that uh, you use around the board. Uh, there's some of them listed there. It's a very heavy box. Uh, but basically it's one to four players and you work together to try to defeat the boss. And if you die all the players go back to the start have to start over again but it becomes even more challenging after dying so it's a uh, very challenging game and i'm looking forward to giving it a go so yeah that's pretty much everything hey uh yeah i think so um we do have one more thing but it's not in the house um i ended up getting a desk today that's going to take up a lot of this room over here um i can't show it because it's not set up so that'll be in the next vlog i'll do a little bit of a show and tell of my art space and everything um hopefully it's going to get set up tomorrow because this table is just not working um there's not enough space there to do or to set up the graphics display and to have like a, a place to do my traditional work as well um so i bought a new desk i paid a little bit too much much for it um I, it, well not too much but more than i wanted to um but it'll um it'll be good it's got a hutch and everything on it with some storage and and whatnot so um jeremy's gonna take his time tomorrow and put that together early in the morning <laughs> and um i got some more bins down there i picked those up in gander a few days ago they're gonna be my new marker cases because i couldn't bring the ones that i made in thompson because i didn't have enough room so we gotta do all that again. Um, so Jeremy's gonna spray paint those green for me, I think. Um, I'm gonna spray paint them a different color. The last ones I had a paint of white, um, so I'm gonna do that a different color. And hopefully um, my computer, I still don't have it back yet, um, but hopefully the uh, computer shops, what's the matter? Where's my dice? Oh, they're still out in the truck in the front in the little cubby. Oh. We also bought dice, but we can't show them because they're not in here. Um, anyway, that's it for the vlog and I uh, hope you enjoyed the footage from St. John's and um, hopefully we'll get vlogging a little bit more regular. Uh, I'm kind of trying to contemplate whether or not I want to move my art vlogs and everything over to the art channel and do like a studio vlog type thing. Kind of thinking about that because not a whole lot of people are watching 
my vlog channel so I'm not really sure it's kind of up in the air what I want to do but something is going to change um, I'm probably gonna do a whole bunch of changes to my other channel my art channel in the next couple of weeks changing the name and getting things updated and like new thumbnails and um, new channel art and all that kind of stuff so keep an eye out for that and I'm gonna let you guys know what the new channel name is at uh, at that time but uh, it is actually it's 10 to 11 and um, we've been awake since 5 30 this morning so I'm gonna call the vlog done like I said and we're gonna chill for a little bit and then head to bed for the night so again thanks so much for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next vlog